We heard um, previously that you've charged 70 people so far. You've just said that you are, are sending letters to a further 520 people, asking them to come in for further interviews and investigation. Um, it's been reported in the press that, that the police are intending to charge and proceed against all 1,100 people that have been arrested. Um, so I wanted to ask, is that, is that proportionate? And, and is there not a considerable extra cost to the police of conducting these interviews, <coughs> putting witnesses towards court? I mean, is that really proportional to, to what's gone on here? So we're not necessarily looking to charge all of the people that we're talking about. We are looking to proceed against them. I think you, you, did, you, did, say, you did say that. It's important mm. that we realise that. Uh, some of the people that were coming in on the, the 520 letter have not been interviewed yet, and they have a right to be interviewed, and, and we think that would be best evidence. So we'll give them the opportunity to do so. But if they decline to come in, then we will proceed against them without, uh, without the interview. Is it proportionate? Well, l l large parts of London were brought to a standstill, Many thousands, probably tens, hundreds of thousands of people who work and live in London were disrupted in their movements, uh, trying to get to work. Uh, the economy lost an awful lot of money. Uh, and the concern I think we have going forwards is that people imagine that they can break the law, we believe they did break the law, which is why we uh, arrested them in the first place, with impunity. Now, regardless of the cause, and the me has to be agnostic on what it is that they're protesting about, if they break the law, there have to be consequences. And I think it's inappropriate for Extinction Rebellion, as we believe that they did, say to their people beforehand, don't worry about getting arrested. The police will be nice to you. Uh, you'll be taken to the police station. You'll be released and nothing will happen. You'll not go to court. Don't worry about it. That's not responsible of Extinction Rebellion to do that, because there are consequences when you break the law. And that's what we're seeing now. Are you concerned there may be the wrong message sent out if people suffer the same consequences for what are peaceful summary offences as they might do for more disruptive offences, such as um, vandalism I could see being part of something well, that might be more serious? I see where you're going, but that's partly a matter for the courts to decide on, on, on punishment and on guilt initially, and then penalty if they find them, if they find them guilty. What, what we're doing is applying the law as we think it's the right way to do it. And will you keep us informed about the ongoing and rising cost of, of these um, proceedings? Sure. Thank you.